Hello everyone, it's Gomrath here, and I am just getting ready for tomorrow. Um, tomorrow we have our first PvP brawl, and I'm really, really excited. The theme is Pets from the Eastern Kingdoms. I've been watching uh, my own guide on the best pets from the Eastern Kingdoms, and it's a 42-minute video. Uh, yeah, not that I don't mind uh, videos that are long. Not that they're bad or anything, but that's, it was just surprisingly long. <laughs> anyway, uh, there's a lot of really cool uh, potential. Like, there's a lot of good pets. And knowing that we're not going to be going against Terraclaw Hatchling and Unborn Valk totally, absolutely changes what you can play. And so I'm really, really excited about it. Um... I'm just going to give a couple previews of pet of teams that I think would be good. Um, not to give away all my strategy, but wow, that server shutdown went from 15 minutes, 14 minutes to 5 minutes. <laughs> so I guess I got to wrap this up. But so you can get an SS hare, the mountain cottontail. Um, he can be found over in the Red Ridge Mountains. And there's only three breeds, so it's really easy to pick up an SS breed. So if you want an SS hare to do PvP with, um, you can get one pretty easily. Another pet that I definitely would say you should snag, and I bet you we're going to see some action from it tomorrow, is the Blighthawk. Now, I was looking at the breeds, and I've had a power speed breed, um, but I kind of wonder if health power isn't better because you only get an additional like 29 speed. But if you have the health power breed, you get an extra 156 or 146 health. So like about half a basic attack. Anyway, I know it's like really intense min maxing. Uh, just trying to think about that, but I probably won't level up this guy fully before tomorrow. Um, Jade Oozling, as always, I think a health health breed wouldn't be terrible. Like, he's super slow, but they're really, really, really tanky. And with 1806 health and then still being able to run, like if you went Absorb, Creeping Ooze, and Acidic Goo, you would have three different, um, three different damage moves. So those are definite picks to check out. Uh, other pets to revisit the tiny harvester. I still I went and went through all of them out there, um, but looking for a power power breed, but was unsuccessful. Uh, so I have this speed speed breed, and you know thrash might be better because being a speed speed breed, you get multiple hits, and so. Uh, one to two times you hit an additional time if you go first yeah so thrash is yeah thrash is definitely better actually than metal fist if you get the ss breed uh then i've got the wild griffin hatchling the power power breed just because it hits crazy hard um he's a little bit on the glass cannon side i mean he's got like 90 health less than normal but still a cool pet and then the molten hatchling now this setup right here could be really irksome in PvP because what I would do is I would throw out Brittle Webbing, I would do Life Leech, then I would do Cauterize, and then I would do Life Leech. So I'm not doing a ton of damage, but I would just heal myself, heal myself, heal myself. And I don't know if there's any Darkness pets on this entire continent. So those other pets to check out. Oh, this is not the same continent. Oh, here, we'll switch them out for the Arcane Eye. Where is this guy? Arcane Eye. Yeah, save. Sorry, I had a uh, another fairy dragon in there. But I'm not sure what this top pet will be. Anyway, I've got uh, Harambe here. Got the baby ape from down in Stranglethorn. Uh, health power breed. You can kind of build him like you would a uh, Iron Starlet. Where you go barrel toss, uh, roar barrel toss. And it'll hit insanely hard. Um, anything but a flyer. And if they don't have a dodge you know soaking that much damage would definitely be a kill and then the golden beetle he plays a lot like um 
just any pet that has survived, especially being an SS breed. But to be honest, he's kind of slow. Like 309 is not very fast. Um, I don't know. I may be re-examining that choice. And then the last one that I want to talk about is uh, the Flux Fire Feline. This guy right here, he does serious, serious damage. I would recommend running either Prowl and Flux or Supercharge and Flux. I can't tell which is better. <laughs> Supercharge is a three round cooldown. Probably supercharge, honestly. So, yeah, he's somebody else who you can build pretty tanky. Or not pretty tanky, just pretty damagey. So, these were just some pets that were on my mind as we're getting ready for tomorrow. Anyway, guys, good luck. I can't wait for the stream. And uh, take care, and I'll talk to you soon.